Hi guys, welcome to Adam at Color TV. I'm Adam, this is the best of Euro 2016. In this video, you will find out my best 11 of the Euros, my goal of the Euros, my player of the Euros, and of course, my manager of the Euros. At the end of the video as well, I will reveal the winner of my fantasy league competition, and of course, the little prize I have found for that winner. Overall, the tournament, which had 51 games played and just 108 goals, was witnessed by 2.4 million spectators in France. It wasn't the greatest of tournaments for me. I mean, it won't live up there alongside France 98, World Cup 92, Euro 96, or any of the other tournaments that I've watched. Um, it kind of reminded me of the tournament when Spain won the World Cup, having only scored eight goals. I wasn't that enthused or entertained by the tournament on the whole. And I found myself watching a lot of the games, kind of half switched off, half in my phone. So it wasn't amazing. There were the odd few moments. And obviously, that's what this video is all about. My 11 first up. In goal, Gigi Buffon. It was absolutely heartbreaking to see him get knocked out of the tournament against Germany in a shootout. One of the greatest goalkeepers of my generation anyway since I've been watching football over the last 20-27 years. The man is a complete and utter legend and to see him go out like that was disappointing and I thought he had a fantastic tournament as well. It was based on him and that Juventus back three which kept Italy so strong throughout the tournament um, and got them to where they got to. So in goal for me, Gigi Buffon. Of course, Rui Patricio did enter my mind as before the tournament. I didn't think an awful lot about him. And throughout the tournament, he proved his worth to Portugal. And also Michael McGovern of Northern Ireland, who was absolutely fantastic as well. Those two did cross my mind, but I went with the legend, Gigi Buffon. Then in defence, I've gone with a back three, simply because I don't think anyone of the fullbacks really had an outstanding tournament, or at least I couldn't pick two to go into a back four. So I went with a defensive three. The Italian pairing of Bonucci and Chiellini, who as Buffon were fantastic and solid and gave Italy that foundation to get to where they got to, are joined by Wales's Ashley Williams and captain. He was fantastic for them, even playing throughout injury at times to help his nation. Ashley Williams epitomised what Wales were about. Strong, passionate, um, always at it, fighting to the end. And he was a fantastic leader for them. So Ashley Williams gets into my back three. Then I've gone with a midfield four. Look, it's a best 11. I'm not going to expect this game to play against anyone. It's not tactically spot on. I've just tried to pick the 11 best players in some sort of formation. My midfield four are as follows. Ja Mario of Portugal. He impressed me um, throughout the tournament, especially in the latter stages. He was very tidy with the possession. He worked very hard. In the final third, he tried to make things happen and defensively he helped out as well at times. And I was very, very impressed with Jao Mario. Didn't know an awful lot about him before the tournament and he was one of the best players for Portugal. So he got into my midfield, as did Germany's Tony Cruz, who was excellent throughout the tournament and showed why Manchester United were interested in him once upon a time. And then Aaron Ramsey as well of Wales. They missed him in that semi-final so badly. If they had him, they maybe would have got through, which says a lot about his performances in the tournament. He had a great passing ratio. He's making goals. He scored a goal as well. So well done to Aaron Ramsey, the Gunnar. He's in my 11. And while we're in London, another man that plays his club football in London. Wow. He at least did last season. And <laughs> whether, he, whether he is next season remains to be seen. Dimitri Payet had three goals in the tournament. Fantastic tournament for him. And considering that he wasn't even going to go to the tournament as well. Um, it's incredible. Didier Deschamps eventually picked him. He wins the game for them against Romania. He puts in some excellent performances throughout the tournament. And so unfortunate to be on the losing side in the final. Um, it was unfortunate that the players that had won games for... Um, France just didn't perform on that day. You looked at Pogba, Payet, Griezmann, Giroud. They scored goals up until that point, but they failed to perform in the final. But still, Payet gets into my Euro 11. Then I've gone with a front three of Gareth Bale for Wales. Obvious. Cristiano Ronaldo, Portugal. Obvious. And of course, Antoine Griezmann, the top goal scorer of Euro 2016 
fantastic for him and just like Payet, he didn't deserve to be on the losing side in Paris in the final. He had a great tournament and fa fair play to him because he got that disappointment of the Champions League final out of his system. You could tell it was weighing on him a little bit in the Romania game at the start and stuff like that and then he got dropped for the second game, comes on, performs and then he's back and he's finished top goal scorer. So well done to Antoine Griezmann, proving why he's just one of the best strikers about. So that's my team. I've gone with a 3-4-3, Buffon in goal, Bonucci, Williams, Chiellini, Jao Mario, Cruz, Ramsey, Payet, Griezmann, Bale and Ronaldo. What do you think, guys? Let me know what your team of the tournament is in the comments below. Now it's time for my goal of the tournament. Now this one was a difficult one. Firstly, I'll give some honourable mentions to Zoltan Girard for his goal against Portugal. Adair for his goal in the final against France, a great strike. Payet for his goal against Romania. Shakiri for his excellent goal against Poland. But my goal of the tournament goes to Hal robson Carney of Wales and of no club, which is absolutely incredible. Came into the tournament, he didn't have a contract to his name for a club. In that quarter-final against Belgium, the stakes are high, it's tight in the game. He sends a couple of Belgian defenders to the shot with a great piece of skill. Cheeky Cruyff on the edge of the box, opens the space up for him. Bang! Wales are scored, Wales are going through against one of the best teams in Europe. It was an absolutely incredible goal. As many have already said, if that was scored by Ronaldo or Messi or Griezmann, we'd be talking about it for years upon years. And that deserves to be the goal of the tournament, in my opinion. Again, guys, I want you to get your goal of the tournament in the comments below. Now we come to my player of the tournament. And this was a guy that I've already mentioned in this video, Antoine Griezmann. He gets the, the player of the tournament for me. He obviously didn't get the winner's medal. Um, and I feel his performances throughout the competition, playing for France, who scored the most goals in the competition, him scoring most of those goals, being top goal scorer, has to be player of the tournament for me. And then, of course, last but not least, manager of the tournament goes to this guy. <laughs> also, before I go, guys... I want to thank everyone that joined in with the Adam McCullough TV Fantasy League on the Euro 2016 app. We do have a winner. The top three were as follows. Tom with Tom's Euros 11 on 357 in third place. Chris, aka I'm a champion. Fortunately, he's not this time. He's finished second with 366 points. And it's Abar, E-Y-B-A-R, Abar FC. With 371 points at the top of the table. I finished in 197th place. So obviously I had a dreadful time with 247 points. Hey bar mate, if you are watching this video, then you better be. <laughs> Get in touch with us because I have been digging around for a little prize for you guys. And I've found a signed Dwight York image. Now, I know it's not an amazing thing. But it's a little bit of merchandise that I've got at home. So the winner can have it. So Abar, get in touch with your name and address and I'll get that out to you. If you don't get in touch with me by Sunday, then it will go to Chris. If not, to Tom. And if neither of the top three get in touch, no one's having it. It's going to stay with me. So guys, thank you for joining me here today. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I want you guys to hit up those comments below with your best 11 of the tournament, your goal of the tournament, your player of the tournament, and of course, your manager of the tournament. I'm Adam McCola. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later.